hello guys my name is M. Razoli. today we are going to today i'm going to tell you teach you or tell you uh, how to make a 3d model of uh, the u-shaped chair and that is shown in here uh, the dimension uh, that roughly we are taking this dimension and um, when i search on the google i found uh, this dimension when i search the u shape chair dimension frame dimension then i got it so we are taking this is 20 and this is 50 18 and then uh, above is 18 uh, roughly and we are making of some of angle also and we are taking this uh, up to of how much up to 15 inch roughly and then we'll take uh, add uh, some in upper part also let's do it on the catia v5 v5 uh, version version v5 and i already open it on my screen and on my pc so uh, hope you will also start so let's start i will select uh, this uh, plane and uh, as you are uh, uh, as you are using the ktv 5 version then you know how to pan it uh, and how to uh, zoom and zoom out it and how to uh, how to rotate it okay uh, i assume that you know that uh, what i'm uh, tell earlier that how to pan it and how to zoom it so uh, I will select actual plane first and go to sketch okay uh, in uh, when I see the YouTube video I seen that uh, I saw that uh, many of uh, those who are uh, telling uh, you uh, how to make uh, this uh, 3d model they are not going to use any instruction or any uh, voice so uh, hope you uh, hope uh, this uh, video will make you uh, uh, clear uh, about how to make 3d model of usage chair so uh, first of all I'm going I'm selecting profile command and when uh, we get the origin with uh, when, when the my cursor is uh, coincide with the origin it will show this uh, uh, dot uh, option dot uh, sign and I'm going to make this <coughs> uh, in this uh, I'm going to make uh, I will uh, from here if you know the drawing if you are a mechanical engineers or others you know that what is the axis line or uh, what is the symmetry line axis or symmetry line it will uh, we will uh, make a symmetry part of it and then we will mirror it uh, mirror it by using mirror command so i will making uh, this part this part here is uh, i will assume that it is 20 and a half is 10 inch and we will convert into the mm so it is 10 mm 10 inch 10 inch after 10 inch it is 20 inch we will assume it as a 20 inch so we will convert it into the and now i made this part from this part and this is 20 mm oh the uh, the fillet or chamfer we'll do later uh, so let's make it so i'll click double click it on constraint so that i can use uh, the constant command frequently without uh, clicking uh, repeatedly on it so it is 10 inch means 254 as you know that in one inch 25.4 mm so it is 254 mm now zoom all in click on it and it is 20 inch means 508 mm okay if i am saying it uh, more uh, rapidly then please uh, comment in my video mm okay fit all in so now uh, this now I have to make uh, the vertical line on it and it is a uh, little difficult to make a vertical line without selecting any plane so it is dip little difficult means it is hard a little most difficult uh, 
so I am going to select a plane and now we have a various option how to draw a plane how to make a plane so I will select a parallel through a point and select select uh, this plane a reference plane and then select this point as a uh, that's where I want this plane say ok and then I will select this and go to sketch okay then and then I work here make sorry <coughs> I will select a little uh, in my figure uh, you can see it uh, it is little uh, it at an angle with the vertical so uh, I'm also making it some at an some angle uh, and then draw this is like uh, this okay so uh, now you have to do this select this point and this point and go to constant defining dialog box and select coincidence okay then it will uh, coincidence each other now you have to click on you have to now it is uh, time to give a constraint so I'll give double click on it to use frequently and I will give it 18 inch means 254 254 no 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 18 into 25.4 18 into 25.4 okay for it is 457 okay if you have any problem uh, to take in dimension you can see it here 457 roughly uh, approximately 0.2 is negligible so I will not take it it's a major part okay then okay it is uh, we'll make it uh, uh, it is uh, 19 inch but it is about half of it and we'll play, take it as a 19 okay we'll take it it is 20 we'll take it at a 19 uh, or you can take it uh, also about 15 uh, 14 inch so okay sorry uh, it is about uh, I will take it as a 19 inch 19 into 25.4 482 480 I will take 482 okay and this part is 18 inch it means it is equal to 457 457 okay then I will go double click on axis line and generate a control Z escape it is not purely vertical so double click in it and when this line this color is occur it means it is purely vertical and from here it is vertical now and uh, double click on it and I will give uh, the angle with vertical is about 10 and this is about 10 the back part is exceeding the front part so I am going to reduce this dimension is about 350 mm ok 350 now click on exit workbench or you, we can provide a chamfer from here and uh, another tool also so we will provide uh, you can see it from here also ok skip uh, double click on it and provide some angle to it ok say yes, yes. ok I am giving the curvature of 100 mm not 100 uh, give it 50 mm and here also I am giving it ok say yes um, 50 mm ok now go to exit workbench now uh, if you don't have this circle command originally it is circle command it will show this circle so if you don't have a circle command on your uh, this task bar you can say task bar 
then you can it uh, drag it from here and you can drag it continuously and you will find it uh, somewhere it will be there so uh, in my there it is here so i select uh, this corner option and go this and this and i'll draw of 50 radius okay it is already here 50 radius okay and uh, i want this is of okay in this for this corner on vertex and then give 50 why it not showing Z. Okay, first of all, I will make this one corner and vertex. Say okay, and again, I am going to take this and okay, okay, I unclick on it, select this, and then this one is here and it is 50 already okay now this is our half part of our model 3d model now you have to search for sweep command okay click on a sweep and here are three option here you can click on third this not this not this this one uh, what is the name of this this is circle command and go to there are various and go to center and radius ok select this is our working model and give the diameter I am giving it 10 mm uh, you can give I am not giving it 10 mm I am giving it 50 mm diameter uh, you can give uh, what you want and your desirable and what is reasonable what you think it is reasonable you can give it and say ok now this is our now I have to make it mirror it I have to mirror it so ok I will unselect it first of all I have to go there and symmetry and I will click it and I want symmetry about symmetry about this axis ok and then go to this one and select this one and already given 15 ok okay this is my 3d design you can see it uh, i can, can view it it's fit all in okay this is your 3d model of your uh, uh, u-shape u-shape office chair and that's it for all uh, today uh, if you like my videos then you can uh, um, subscribe my channel and you can also give me a feedback and if you want anything that uh, you are not you feel difficult to made a 3d design then you can uh, comment or you can uh, comment in my youtube channel okay that's it for today thank you thank you for watching